Welcome to our virtual Years of Service award ceremony. We would be remiss if we didn't take an opportunity to recognize those people who have many dedicated years with the Lima City Schools. Typically, we would have a very nice ceremony in the spring honoring each of our people along with family members with a gift which they've already been given for their years of service. It's important for us to always take time to recognize those people, many of whom have dedicated their entire careers to the Lima City Schools. The community of Lima, our families, our students, and really a lot of them taking care of our staff members as well. So you're gonna be embarking on a journey and listening to each and every one of those people who have many years of service in the Lima City Schools. You'll hear a lot about their backgrounds, their positions. You'll learn things that you might not have known about them, where they come from, what they've done. Many people have had different positions throughout the district. So it's a fun way to get to know those people who have dedicated their careers to serving in the Lima City Schools. And I wanna thank them for that because we know that many times it's a difficult job, but it's very, very rewarding to be here. And we're proud and we're honored to honor each of and every one of these people with the Lima City Schools. I'm Chandra Nuvaman, the principal at Freedom Elementary. And today I have the honor of introducing Joyce Belden. She is currently a first grade teacher at Freedom Elementary. Joyce has taught in the Lima City Schools for the past 30 years. She has taught kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. Most of her years have been at Washington McKinley and Freedom Elementary. Joyce loves to watch her students learn and grow. She enjoys watching her students grow up and seeing them later in life. And she says now she's at the point where she's even teaching some of their students or her, some of their children as well. Joyce is married to Jeff, her husband, and they have two sons and seven grandchildren. Next is my pleasure to introduce Patty Richardson. Patty has taught for 35 years. The past 20 years has been at Lima City Schools at Washington McKinley and Freedom Elementary. Patty is an intervention specialist teacher. She has taught, she teaches grades K through fourth grade. She loves building relationships with her students and her families. Patty enjoys baking, cooking, gardening, and canning. Patty is married to her husband, Keith, they have five children and three grandchildren. I want to congratulate you both. You are such wonderful teachers and thank you for being a part of the Freedom family. Hello Spartan family, I am Mr. Quatman uh, from Independence Elementary and I'm here to talk about uh, the award winners from uh, last year. Uh, the first teacher uh, that received uh, a milestone was Mrs. Bronson. She's been with the district for 20 years. Uh, she taught uh, two years at Emerson and oh, I'm sorry four years at Emerson two years in a sec uh, second and third grade split and two years in kinder um, and then from 2004 until now she's been with us at Independence having lots of different uh, um, experiences uh, kindergarten title first grade and second grade um, the second teacher that we have at Independence is Mrs. Denise Thomas uh, she has been in the district 20 years also uh, she taught kindergarten for 19 years at Lowell, Liberty, Heritage, and Independence. And uh, last year she had her first year at third grade. Um, so she's been with the district for 20 years. Um, our next uh, award winner uh, for years of service is Mrs. Annette Zell. She, had, uh, she has worked with the district for 20 years. Um, she had two years at Washington McKinley in fifth grade. Uh, four years at South, uh, both in fifth grade and seventh and eighth grade social studies. Eleven years at Heritage um, in first, third, and title. And then three years at Independence with our title uh, department. And our final uh, um, year of, years of service recognition teacher is Mrs. Michelle Allen. Uh, she has 30 years in the district and has taught in several buildings. Uh, South, Edison, Emerson, and currently at Independence Elementary. Uh, we appreciate everything they do for us and they are great Spartan staff members at Independence. So have a great day. My name is Angie Hefner. I'm the principal at Liberty Arts Magnet. Tina Poff is a third grade teacher at Liberty. She's one of the first teachers that I met when I came to Liberty as a principal eight years ago. She came to me and she started a conversation about how to better Liberty and the things that we could do to increase our academic scores. 
Tina has been a teacher in the district for 25 years. We value her commitment to our district, the love and the education that she's given to well over 500 students in our district. Thank you, Tina, for all that you've done for our students, our district, our staff. We appreciate you, my friend. Today I'm honored to talk about employees that have been with our district for several years. I'll start with Misty Lee. Misty's been with Lima City Schools for 20 years. She is our culinary arts teacher. She's very good at getting her students jobs while they are in school and jobs after school. She runs our Spartan Inn, which is a community restaurant for the staff, as well as anybody else that likes to come in and enjoy a home-cooked meal by our students. She's creative, has a great relationship with our kids, and she's a former bowling coach. Next, I'd like to talk about John Zell. He's been with the district for 20 years, a former math teacher, and our current athletic director. He has a passion for athletics, and under his watch, he has started bowling, golf, and lacrosse, all new sports. He has many aspects to his job that keeps him very busy. He's a good colleague and friend to me as I started my um, first year here four years ago at Lima Senior. Joe Deskins, proud to talk about Joe Deskins. She's been with the district for 25 years. Professionally, she's a good role model, adjusts easily, has a passion to music, adjusts to many challenges that sometimes inclusion teachers face. Joe takes care of our most vulnerable students. She loves spending time with her family and friends. And the last would be Jody Johnson, been at the district for 30 years. Jody was a classroom aide, a secretary at Emerson and North. Now she is a receptionist at Lima Senior. She's the first face that greets everybody that comes into our school. She's very kind to students and her nickname is the Pop-Tart Lady. Proud to have these dedicated employees at Lima Senior High School. They make um, all of our students' lives much better. Hi, my name is Chad Fallis, and I'm the principal here at the Lima South Science and Technology Magnet. And it's with great pleasure that I share with you two of our employees who are celebrating 20 years with the Lima City Schools. Our second grade teacher, Chapin Frazier, and our music teacher, Brent Ammon. I'd like to congratulate both of them for their years of service, the wonderful job they do with teaching, and that's evident through the relationships they build with our students, our families, and the outstanding performance that comes out of their classrooms. The Lima City School has been lucky to have them and I've been very lucky to be able to work with them over these years. Congratulations Chapin, congratulations Brett. Hey guys, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to talk about three of our great Unity family members. There's a lot of years that a lot of people have been in the Lima City Schools. Actually somebody on the list has been here as long as I have. But we're going to talk about the ones who have been here for 20 years and the first one is Donna Andrews. And Donna has been at other buildings, but she is now part of our Unity family. And she comes to work every day, ready to help her family in her classroom. She is one of the most dedicated, hardworking, and sincere teachers that I know. She t is, takes on many committees, especially the IAT. Our IAT team could not work so well if it wasn't for Dawn and her integrity and the rigor that she expects from our students who come to IAT. I appreciate all that you do, Donna, and I can't wait to spend another 20 years with you. The next person I'm here to talk about is Miss Karen Dorsey. And when I think of Karen Dorsey, I think of dancing and singing, and I think of the Civic Center, and I think of the day that I went to Old City Prime to see her in the Christmas show. Her talents exceed anybody that I've ever met. She can sing like nobody's business, she can dance, and she's always got great ideas. Karen's been with the Lima City Schools for 20 years. She's been at this school as long as I have, and I appreciate all that she does for our students. Thanks again, Karen, and I can't wait for another 20 years. And Lori Henline. Lori and I both have the same amount of years, and Lori has been here since I have been here, and she has been at multiple schools, but of course, she's at Unity and she's here to stay. Lori, you are one of the most kind, soft-spoken, organized, neat, put together, dedicated, hardworking, and if I didn't say kind, that's what you are, kind. When I think of Lori Henline, I think of kind. Everything about you exudes 
kindness. And I appreciate the fact that I get to work with someone as great as you. I can't say enough about you three. I appreciate it and I look forward to another 25 years in our Unity family. I'm Carrie Woodruff, Director of Food Service for the Lima City Schools. I'm here to celebrate 20 years of service for Kim Purdom. Kim is an excellent manager. She's an excellent um, person and she does wonderful things for the family here and students of the science, South Science and Technology. Kim is our veteran summer lunch person. She has been here the longest. She does helps us with all the menus and she really takes on to the new people that are in the summer lunch program. We really want to thank Kim for all of her dedication and her specials that she does for the teachers. Kim's mom, Jetta Inskeep, was here for many, many years, and we hope that Kim will continue with us for many, many years. Congratulations, Kim Purdom, on 20 years of service with the Lima City Schools Food Service. Oh, yeah. Randy Crosley, uh, Supervisor of Plant Operations, and uh, today we're going to uh, congratulate uh, Charles uh, Maiden, a.k.a. Tony, uh, in his 20 years of service with the district. Uh, Tony started out as a uh, custodian at South Middle School um, and then moved to senior high in uh, 2000, 2000, 2003 um, and then moved on to Liberty Elementary um, and is currently the head custodian at Liberty Elementary. Um, uh, Tony's uh, well liked uh, by the staff uh, at the schools, um, and they you know they do appreciate his daily uh, uh, diligence as far as uh, caring for them and the and the students, uh, staff and students. Uh, next, uh, we have uh, Robert Bond, A.K.A. Mitch Bond. <laughs> um, Mitch started in 1999 at Froat uh, and, and Lowell, he was split as a custodial fireman. And then in uh, 2001, uh, he came to the maintenance department as a utility repair, uh, night maintenance, and has been there, uh, been with the maintenance department ever since. Um, you know, Mitch uh, does a wonderful job, uh, self-motivated. Um, doesn't require you know follow up on work orders and so forth because uh, those who don't know it, the maintenance department you know they receive work orders and they're pretty much especially the night crew uh, uh, take care of business in other words uh, they don't have immediate uh, supervision uh, but yet uh, they get the job done and they do it in a timely manner um, and then last uh, we have uh, Moses Williams um, Moses has been with us now for 25 years. He started in 1994 at Westwood uh, Elementary. Um, and from there, he went to Lima Senior High for a short period, and then to Lima Senior High Alternative School, which was actually in a separate building back then. That was in 98. Um, then he went back to Lima Senior, um, and then he worked at uh, Heritage as a midday custodian for several years. And since uh, 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 2011 he's been at Freedom Elementary at nights and you know I think he's pretty much going to be rooted there uh, the staff loves him I don't think they'd let him go uh, if he tried to move a bit out uh, but uh, yeah again he's his attendance is 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 great uh, and he does a, a great job night after night uh, you know, making sure that the, the building's ready for the staff and students the next day and and uh, is not uh, uh, concerned or, or, you know, about working out of the box, uh, uh, out of his normal duties. So uh, I want to thank everyone for the years of service. And, uh, yeah, I hope uh, uh, the rest of the year is uh, a good to you. So today I have three special people that I would like to honor for their work in the Lima City Schools and their long tenure. The first one from Central Services is Randy Crosley, and he has celebrated 30 years with the Lima City Schools. He's kind of one of those guys that's always in the background, 
uh, that you don't see a lot, but you know is out there. Um, we do work orders for him many times. He's been here since 1990, and he served in the same role as supervisor of plant operations. His background is a little bit interesting. He graduated from Allen East High School, attended Apollo, and then graduated from Northwestern Business College as an auto diesel technician and with an AutoCAD degree. He moved to Michigan and was there for a number of years working in industry until he regained his senses and moved back to the state of Ohio and back to his home community of Lima. Randy is the kind of guy, and many of you don't know this, he's a 24 hour, seven day a week person. He's that person that I personally depend on when things go down, when um, electricity goes out, who's, who I can text at 4.45 in the morning to say there's fog out there, or I think the roads might be bad. He's driving in one direction, I'm driving in the other direction. He also took on several years ago the, the, um, the responsibility of ensuring safety in our district with cameras and Alice training, and he took that job very seriously as well. He's always been that kind of person that's added things onto his plate because he knew that was what was best for the district. So we're honored to tell Randy that we're very proud of his 30 years with the Lima City Schools. My next person that I want to talk about is Inga Poe. Everybody knows Inga because she is our human resource person. She is celebrating 25 years with the Lima City Schools. Inga actually started here in 1986 and was at Lincoln and the alternative school as a cook and I never knew that. I did not know that she could cook. However, from there she went over to West and was a cook and then did take a little bit of time off from the Lima City Schools and returned in 1994 because as many people um, really realize in their life that they can't be away from us so they come back which is great and she came in as the food service sec secretary in 1994 and then in 1999 she moved over to pupil services and in 2001 she became the secretary of human resources and at that point that is where our paths began to cross in 2003 when i became the assistant superintendent i was fortunate i've been fortunate to work with her for many many years um, and in 2012, when I became the superintendent, she moved right with me and became the administrative assistant to the superintendent. But really, she's HR everything. She is the person who keeps human resources running. She is the person that keeps track of everything, as you well know, all of your paperwork, all of those things that you need, uh, fingerprinting, everything. Uh, she is just my right arm. I don't know what I would do without her, and she is fantastic. Um, very dedicated and loyal to us, always has her Spartan gear on and cheering for the Spartans, and somebody that I'm, that I'm really proud to say is, um, is not just a great employee, but also a wonderful friend. So congratulations to Inga Poe on 25 years. And then the third person that I want to recognize is Trisha Winkler, who's the principal of Unity Elementary School, also celebrating 25 years with the Lima City Schools. And it's funny because a lot of us can remember um, when the Winklers came to Lima, when Trisha came to Lima, she's from West Virginia, when she got her bachelor's degree at Fairmont State and then a master's degree from Bowling Green State University. In 1994, she was hired to work at Jefferson Elementary School and taught first grade. And then like many of us was moved around and went to Lowell where she taught fifth grade and kindergarten and third grade. And then in 1999, she did go to South Junior High, and at one point, and I lost track going through the file, she did become the school improvement coach for the building and did that for a number of years. Her tenure as an administrator was very difficult as she split jobs between being the principal of South Magnet School and being the principal of Unity Elementary School. And so she has served many years as an administrator here. She's upbeat, she's fun loving, she makes people laugh, she's not afraid to get out there um, and make sure that kids are in school and being taken care of. And so we're really proud of her dedication and hard work and we want to congratulate her on 25 years as well. And so that sums up our year of service awards and a summary of all of the people who have dedicated many, many years of service to the Lima City Schools. We can't thank them enough 
for their true dedication, not just to the Lima City Schools, but to the Lima community, working hard every day to make sure that we have the best possible community for our families and for our children and for everybody. So we want to thank them for their hard work and, and continued success with the Lima City Schools. Thank you.